What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Amy's Kitchen, except today we're in Doug's Kitchen. This is Doug, he's a client of mine. We're getting him started on getting in the best shape of his life, getting healthy. He's already killing it in the weight room, so now we're gonna start killing it in the kitchen. So today we're gonna be making a recipe from the cookbook that is already released. It's actually releasing today. Uh, if you don't have a copy, go check that out. We're making recipe number 22, which is barbecue chicken mac and cheese. And so, I bet you didn't think you can have mac and cheese and still lose weight. We're gonna do it today. Yes, so, we are. So, these very simple ingredients. So, off the rip, I have right here on the frosting, but two pounds grilled chicken breast. Boneless, skinless, easy peasy. It's literally $4.91 for two pounds. Can't go wrong, all protein. We got this Berea protein pasta right here. And so even though it's roughly the same amount of calories as regular pasta, they replace a lot of the carbs and protein, so that's gonna help with your gains as well. We got sugar-free barbecue sauce. A lot of sauces have a ton of sugar, a ton of calories, and that's where a lot of people mess up. So getting the sugar-free option is gonna help you a lot. We got reduced fat cheddar cheese to help with our mac and cheese flavor. Again, if you can find the reduced fat or reduced carb version of any sort of foods that you like, it's gonna usually have lower calories and help you lose weight. We have that. We got, I'm using this packet right here. We're not actually using the pasta, just a little packet of the mac and cheese, like the actual cheese powder. Just a little bit of it to make it more of that mac and cheese flavor. And most of the calories from this mac and cheese comes from the pasta itself. So we're not gonna be using that, we're gonna be using all the pasta there. We also have some light cream cheese. You can use non-fat or light. Light one was cheaper, so I went with light. Same thing. And then we have 0% fat-free cottage cheese. And Doug is a big fan of cottage cheese here. If you notice, this is literally 80 calories for half cup, zero grams of fat, six grams of carbs, which is honestly not bad at all, 12 grams of protein. So it's pretty much all protein for this whole thing. And we're using a lot of it. So you can see we have a lot of protein here. Not too, too many carbs, pretty much just coming from the pasta. And then really not a lot of fats. We have reduced fat of everything else. So it's really just a lot of protein, which is gonna help recover from the gym, make it delicious, and we'll get started. All right, so we'll start getting everything prepped now. And so again, we're using the recipe that's written down from the cookbook. And we're actually gonna be using, we're gonna be cooking in bulk today, which that recipe is actually made to be cooked in bulk with all two pounds of chicken. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do here is just cube up our chicken breast into small bites size pieces. So we got our chicken cubed up right over here. Now we're just gonna set a pan on some medium heat. I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick oil. So we got coconut oil here. And so just giving it a light little spray so it doesn't stick on the pan. That's gonna be a medium heat. We also got a pot boiling with water. And as soon as that boils, we're gonna throw in both our boxes because we're cooking in bulk today. Both our boxes of the pasta. All right, so the next thing, as the pasta's starting to cook up, we're just gonna season our chicken. This right here is just a mixture of salt and pepper and a little bit of other seasonings, all-purpose seasoning, really easy. Just sprinkle that in there, however much seasoning you want. Just make sure it's low-calorie seasoning. This is literally zero calories, you can't go wrong. And then just get in there and mix it up, coat every chicken, and then it's ready to be thrown into the pan. I love the sound of that noise. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get our cheese sauce ready. And so everything's already portioned out uh, to be the exact like container size. Now, if you have like bigger bowl containers or smaller, you can measure it out here on the food scale, but I'll show you how to work that a little bit toward the end. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna dump all of my ingredients into a blender. So this is the cottage cheese. I'm gonna dump that in. It's a good stuff. Right there. We're gonna put in our light cream cheese in this. Right into there. Boom. Done. We are going to put in some cheese. Cheesy. So I'm just guessing here about because I know the bag it says it is roughly equating to eight ounces, and I have about four ounces that I want to put in, so I'll put in about half the bag there, make it cheesy. All right, come 
also gonna throw in my barbecue sauce. All right, so we've got our barbecue sauce in there. Now we're gonna put a little bit of our cheese packet as well. And so you can either replace this with Parmesan cheese as well. I find this makes it taste a little bit better, but just know that this has a little bit more calories than Parmesan cheese. So I'm only gonna put in a little bit just to give it more of that mac and cheese flavor. So just a little sprinkle like that, boom. And then it calls for a little bit of milk, which full disclosure, I ran out of milk, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of water. All right, so now we're just gonna blend in our cheese barbecue sauce. So the chicken's almost done here. We turned it over. You can see that it's pretty much cooked all the way through. Just gonna chop it up like that. Turn off the heat so we can work with it. The pasta over here is pretty much done. We're gonna turn this off as well. And then we're ready to just combine everything and eat up. Mm. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to use a food scale to actually measure your food. So two things to healthy eating. One is what you eat and what it's like made up of, and two is how much of it you eat. And this is how you know how much of it you're actually eating. So you have a food scale here, it's really easy. You just put the bowl that you wanna measure on, especially for this. You can do it as the ingredients go on, but because we're cooking in bulk, it's much easier just to do it afterward and plate up whatever you wanna eat. So we're gonna turn it on. After the bowl is already on, that we're gonna be eating it anyway, so it's already teared out to zero. And so we're gonna be measuring how much pasta we're gonna put in. So step number one, we're gonna change the units to our pasta, which we have ounces for our units. And so I'm gonna go get here the done pasta. It's already cooked, it's already done. We're gonna bring it over and we're gonna say, okay, how much do I wanna eat today? And so I'm gonna put in a nice hefty scoop over here. This pasta is already drained at the top over here. So that's five ounces already of cooked pasta. And we're gonna cook in bowl. So let's try to get eight ounces, a good helping size. So put that in. And that's 8.11 ounces, so pretty much around eight. If you wanna go take a little bit out to make it exactly eight, that's fine too. As long as it's close enough, that's about eight ounces of pasta there. So we have our pasta, and then we can easily log that on a food app. Doug, I'm already starting to get you ready on the food app, so you already know, okay, I have pasta, you type it in. I'll show you guys how to do that later as well. Yep. And then you put in the amount, so eight ounces there. Next, we're gonna put in our chicken. So we have our chicken here, and the same thing. We're gonna press zero to tear it out, so we already know how much pasta specifically. We press zero, and now we're gonna know how much chicken. So starting from zero, we're gonna put in, how much do you want, how many ounces? Uh, three. Three, we're gonna go a little bit more because chicken has a lot of protein, so oh. let's go six ounces, how does that sound? Oh, sounds great. Six ounces of chicken, okay. So we're gonna put that in until we get six ounces of cooked chicken. That's a five and a half, 22. As long as it's close enough, and especially protein, you can go a little bit over, whatever, not a problem. I'm trying to get this last piece of chicken here. For I me. like my protein. <laughs> there you go, six ounces of chicken. So we got chicken. And now comes the fun part. We have our sauce right here, our mac and cheese sauce. Nice and thick, creamy. And we're just gonna pour it. We're gonna tear it again. So now we know how much of our cheese sauce we're putting in with all of our ingredients. And we're just gonna pour that in there, right? And so that was about four ounces of our cheese sauce. And so that's made up of all the ingredients. You can probably type it in, and again, because we're all putting in a bulk, you can just cook everything in bulk. We have all the amounts in bulk, and then just divide it by roughly how much you had. So that was probably like maybe a tenth of the entire bulk ingredients that we had. And so that's that. And now to make it obviously look pretty like mac and cheese, we can just take it off. We're gonna have a spoon over here. We can mix this up. Make it look like our mac and cheese. And again, you can do this in the pot and mix it up. I just find it's a lot easier to actually track how much chicken and stuff that you actually want to eat as you're putting in the bowl that you want to eat. You can do either one just as long as it's pretty accurate. So you see it's starting to look like our mac and cheese right there. Grilled chicken mac and cheese. It already has a barbecue sauce, but because we got sugar free, we can afford more calories. So why not put some more barbecue sauce on top? Make it really nice and pretty. Let's drizzle some on over here. It's coming out a little clumpy. I wish it was coming out a little bit smoother, but 
We've got some barbecue sauce on top right there like that. It's barbecue chicken mac and cheese. So I'll throw the macros up so you guys know how much I'm eating, but roughly just because I kind of eyeballed it and I've been doing this for a long time. So you're getting buffalo chicken mac and cheese for 500 calories. If you went out and had this amount, it would probably be about 2,000 calories. So we saved about 1,500 calories, and this is how you can recover from the gym, so you can build muscle, lose fat because you're not having as many calories as going out and eating this, and it still tastes delicious. You can have your mac and cheese and eat it too. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so Doug also has mentioned to me that he thinks it would be easier for him because he's a busy guy, that he just wants his meals prepped, where he can have quick meals, it'll be easier for him to stay on track. So that's why we cooked in bulk, and I'm gonna show you now how you can pretty much just make this meal prep. So you just have your pot, already have all the cheese sauce. Just dump it in there. We have a ton of pasta and a ton of cheese sauce. We cook in bulk. This is gonna have a full week of meals probably. And dump that all in there. That's a lot. Okay. Wow. And then the rest of our chicken, which he can cook up more chicken later if he wants to. I did end up making a lot more pasta for the chicken specifically itself, but dump the rest of the chicken in there. Some more barbecue sauce. You can literally store it as is in the fridge. You can mix it up and then plate out the same size bowl the next day whenever you want to eat. And it'll have the same calories and macros as when you had it today. So that's just how you can store it. So when Doug wants a quick lunch, he's in between work, he can just go to the fridge, plate up a bowl, heat it up in the microwave for five, not even five minutes, three, four minutes. It'll be hot and ready. He's got a good lunch. Stay on his bowls. He doesn't need to go to the store, get fast food. And stay away from Burger King, guys. Stay away from Burger King, exactly. And so that's that. And that is how you make bulk meal prep, buffalo chicken, mac and cheese. That'll help you lose fat, build muscle, stay on all your goals, and not eat yourself dieting. You guys want to eat good and look good at the same time. So that's what we're doing for Doug. That's all I've done to myself. That's what we're going to keep on doing. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.